Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, and as you know, you definitely know by now, there is a new custom league feature for franchise mode where you can change all types of settings. This is one of my favorite things they've added in years easily because there's just so many possibilities and so many cool things that you can do. And today I'm just going to really mess around with it just for fun. Number of teams, we have to max that out. Come on, it's got to be 48. Conferences? And divisions, none. There isn't anything. It's just one big league. I will keep the salary cap on. However, I'm going to set the max to the absolute max. And I'm going to set the min to the absolute min. Okay, voice cracks are still happening. Clearly, this flu... Or it's not even a flu, like I said. I mean, it is, but it's not. Or a cold. Whatever you prefer to call it. But yes, yeah, salary cap will remain on. But it's a very, very open range. Round Robin. Whoa! 47 games for Round Robin. What the heck is going on there? I'll set it to off. But you know what? I'm going to make it like the NFL. 20 games. I mean, they don't play 20 games, kind of close, but it means every game matters. Every game is very important. Season tie break. Let's go with a... Wait, why can't I go further than that? Okay, I thought it would like, you know, sort of overlap, but no. No overtime. Huh. We could set it to be ties. Single OT 5 on 5. Okay, I kind of like that. Single OT 4 on 4. Let's do that. Let's, let's admonish, not admonish. That's not the right word at all. I shall, however, admonish the league for shootouts being gone. I'm going to say that a win is worth 4 points. And overtime wins. Okay, yeah, they are going to be worth 3 points. Because why not? A tie will be worth 2 points. An overtime loss worth 1. And then a loss is 0. Cool, so it's 4-3-2-1. Playoff reseeding. Sure. Yeah, let's turn that on. Wild card will also be on. Number of teams that qualify... 34 teams will make the playoffs. I've changed pretty much all the tiebreakers here just for fun. So goals for and goals against are now the two most important things. Playoff tiebreak, it's going to go straight to a shootout. We're also going to set it to be three away and then four home. I don't know how this is going to work, but I'm going to set the AHL to play 84 games just because why not? But I'm not going to really change anything else because it doesn't matter too much. We're not going to be paying a lot of attention to it. Oh no, what have I done? I've reset everything. Dang it. Seriously? Just by doing this, it reset everything. All right, give me a minute. I just have to go and reconfigure literally everything. 43210, as we had it before. Single OT, four on four. And we will have playoff reseeding plus a wild card round. Teams that qualify, 34 teams make it in. And I want to make this goals for, goals against. And what was this one again? I think it was regulation wins. And then this one was total wins, maybe. Or maybe, no, I think I left it at goal differential. If it actually came down to a fourth tiebreaker anyway, that is wild. So I feel like we won't really be seeing that. Playoff format, it's going to go straight to a shootout. And we will have three away, four home. Okay. And in the AHL, which is one big league as well, schedule, you're going to play 84 games because why not? All right, before I mess it up again, I'm getting out of here. There we go. Our settings are set in stone. Let's randomize the team here. I'm going to do a fantasy draft as well, and I think I'm going to go and modify some other settings. Like, I think there is goal scoring frequency and stuff like that in simulation. Bang! We get New Jersey. Division realignment. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen in a league that doesn't have divisions. Owner mode. No, thank you. Fantasy draft. It doesn't matter what your name is, Jabroni. You're not going to edit my lines. Fog of War. Nope. We'll keep player morale off. Yeah, I was thinking about turning it on, but no, we'll leave it off. Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave injuries on. I don't think difficulty actually matters when you're simulating, but I'll put it up to superstar anyway. Auto save. Nah, we don't need that. Stop taking up all my save slots. I will enable head coach edit lines because I turned injuries on. I don't want to have to deal with that. I'm pretty much just here to simulate and see what happens. I don't actually want to manage anything. I'm not even doing the drafts myself. I'm just auto drafting. Here we go. Sim engine scoring. Let's put that up to high draft class quality. Does not matter because we aren't going to get to that point anyway. What is this? Generated prospect quality. Sim engine shot frequency. We will also turn that up to high. Head coach firing pop up. Yeah, sure. Let me know if someone gets canned. Okay, let's go ahead, start the career here, and see what kind of team the AI drafts in a 48-team draft. We get pick number 43. That is not fun. Let's go ahead and start the draft and simulate it immediately. Sim entire draft. Okay. And will we have a decent lineup, or will the AI GM be set on the future? Let's find out. Once the draft completes and we get the full list of players that were taken by the New Jersey Devils fantasy draft complete. We got, oh, wait, hold on. This ain't us. Oh, we got Petrangelo, Clayton Keller, Bobrovsky, Brody and Couture, Bouchard, Schwartz, Connor McMichael. Okay, I'm down with that. Interesting. 
Very interesting. Well, let's go to edit lines and see what we are presented with here. Oh boy. Wait, no, I wanted that to be true. Dang it. I mean, not true. What am I saying? I wanted it to be on. All right, here's our team. We got Clayton Keller, Logan Couture, and Jaden Schwartz as our first line. Clem Ross and Sam as our second line. Our bottom six looks rather interesting, I gotta say. Defensively, we got Brodine playing with Alex Pietrangelo. Yes, it is Petrangelo, Bouchard, and Kale. And then our bottom two there, we got Noah and Nick. Sergey will be minding the net. Arvid will be the backup at 77 overall. He's got the medium backup potential. He's actually listed as a backup goalie, so that's not bad. The role does change based on the league so we do have two first line forwards here in 88 and 86 schwartz is a second line but that's okay and then sam Steele <laughs> drops down to a third line but we got one second line player i guess on our second line i don't even know what to predict here because there's 20 games i'm gonna say we win 10 of them somehow keller gets the most points with 18 and i forget 34 teams make the playoffs 10 should be enough so i think we should make it let's find out what happens look how empty this schedule is just weeks between games holy i guess we could stop at the trade deadline find out who's available although i will not be making any moves all right the number of teams definitely affects the simulation speed Ooh, view player info oh wait never mind no sorry anton but i'm going to decline that two games in one week this is outrageous all right that's the first coach that has been fired chad mcintosh not such a chad now are you of course of course he gets injured i'm just gonna do best lines i don't know why it is even prompting me oh that's right because i said no to the head coach editing lines okay so he's available for the next game already that's nice we're not doing so hot three five oh and oh three six oh and oh it is now calgary's time to fire their head coach we just need to be in the top 34 to make playoffs if we don't make it in, i'm gonna be very upset washington cans their coach easton man more like tino man am i right another coach being canned alexander parento gone from the rangers thought it was gonna be another one i'm gonna say they're just dropping like flies at this point the sabers 14 games played and 48 points what a weird league another coach gone Another one bites the dust. Another one. I would say our playoff hopes are slim to none at this point, but let's find out who's available at this year's trade deadline. Patrice at 89 overall. We also got Tristan Jari. Pareko is available. Brett Pesci, Lindell. There's actually quite a few good players here. I'm not going to lie. Nah, the value's not there. A second, a third, and a prospect for Bergeron. No. All right, I'm not even going to bother. There's no point. Let's just get out of here. I was curious to see who was going to be on the uh, trade block but i'm not really gonna go after anyone i don't think i am curious to see who wins the art ross and how many points they have considering we did crank up that setting too high we just went back to back games moved all the way up to 35th back down to 38th oh my word we are 8 8 and oh we stand a chance noah has been injured okay let's just do best lines not a big deal that's a tie all right no thank you i will decline that washington another dub we're gonna make it we actually might make it. Best lines again. Two remaining matchups. Arizona. E, that's an L. Come on. If we get a dub here, we're in. And also, sprained ankle. Okay, that's not bad. But we don't have our starting goalie. <laughs> oh, boy. Best roster. Come on. Somehow pull out a dub over the Jets. Are you serious? The man, the myth. I don't even remember what his name was, but he gets a shutout. It's the wild card round. I think we made it past that, though. I think maybe we're not even in the wild card. Yeah, we're just straight up in the playoffs. We made it. 42 points in 20 games. A record of 10, 9, 1, and 0. Oh, and a row of 10. President's Trophy goes to the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim. I'm assuming goals for 75 to 74. Clayton Keller had 18 points in 20 games. Couture 16, Schwartz and Petrangelo both had 15. Ooh, Ross Colton and Sam Steele both got 13. That's pretty good. Bobrovsky went 9-8-0 and he had a shutout 9-0-5. Okay, so maybe he did still play that game even with a sprained ankle, but regardless, Arvid 1-1-0, one, one a 9-11, 348. Allmark was the Sabres netminder. He put up a 9-18 save percentage, a record of 13-4 and 1 with two shutouts. Cam Talbot down here had a 9-21. He's the only one on the front page to break that 9-20 save percentage. Adam Fox had 24 points in 20 games. We got 22 from Miro, 21 from Hughes, and our last point-of-game defenseman will be John Carlson. 
who had 20 exactly. Connor McDusty had 34 points in 19 games. Can't go wrong there. Pavel put up 32 in 20. Jimmy Superstar with 31. Will Nye, the hockey guy, had 30. Yeah, definitely a lot of points here. Let's take a little sneak peek at the President's Trophy winning Anaheim Ducks. They had three players with 22 points. I'm assuming that was their first line. Horvat, Connor, and Konechny. Pretty solid. They got Krejci with 19. Devin Taves with 17. Suter and Bailey both had 14. Okay, so they have a pretty good team. They got to have a good goalie, right? Cal. All right, I expected like a 90 overall goalie. I don't know why this team did so well, I'm going to be honest. They probably paired Taves and Krug together, even though they're both left-handed. Or maybe Braun was on the first pair. I have no idea. Well, let's simulate until we are ready to play. AKA, let's get past the wild card round to find out who makes it in. I love the logo overlap down there. Penguins just completely... Oh, wow. Okay, it happens for both sides. That's cool. Oh, wait, we're... I, I did not know we were playing. Clearly, it took me by surprise because that was the biggest stutter of all time. Gotta be a reverse sweep. Easy. We got this, boys. Uh, no, not exactly. Bobrovsky was out that whole time, was he? No. Actually, maybe he was. I think it did say he was returning at April something. Either way, we got rinsed in the first round, and the Dallas Stars go on to win the Stanley Cup. Schwartzy was our only point-a-game player in the playoffs. Let's see, actually. If we go to goalies, was he in? Nope. We were rocking Arvid the entire time. Okay, so that explains quite a bit. Mackenzie Blackwood played 29 playoff games. He went 28 and won. Three shutouts and a 928 save percentage. Some very good save percentages here for these goalies. Quinn Hughes led defenseman. He had 27 points in 30 games. Roman Yossi, exactly point a game, putting up 20 in 20. Dougie Hamilton managed to tally up 17 points in just 14 games. What a performance from Nate Mack. 41 points in the playoffs, playing 29 games. Kreider had 32 in 29, so that is quite a gap. Nine points separate Nate from Kreider. He obviously won the Conn Smythe. I mean, come on. So here are the two team awards, which we already know. Connor McDavid wins the Art Ross. Jimmy Superstar gets the Hart Fox. Takes home the Norris. Pavel gets the Lady Bing. Mason McTavish will go home with the Calder. Yeah, as I expected, Nathan will take the Conn Smythe. Cam Talbot gets the Vesna. Markstrom will take home the Jennings. Matheson has the Masterton for this year. Carolina's coach will take the Jack Adams. Crosby with the Selkie. Jimmy Superstar also gets the Ted Lindsay. And McDusty will get the Rocket Richard. I believe he had 17 and 17. So 17 goals in 20 games. Not too shabby. Here is the playoff tree. And there is two sides to it. So yeah, it is pretty large. I'll just let you focus on that side real quick here. And then we will hop over to this one. There you have it. So yeah, that was fun. It's kind of cool to just really mess around with the settings, see what happens and how it affects the simulation. Unfortunately, the auto draft still doesn't work out very well, but I'm having a lot of fun with this custom league feature. And yeah, I'm actually very happy they put that in. I was not expecting it, to be honest. And it's very, very customizable. So they did a good job. Got to give credit where credit's due. Well, on that note, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching and the support so far for NHL 23. It is greatly appreciated. And on that note, I will see you soon.